first time home buyer. All right, they are max qualified here and um, they want to know, um, they just want to know what they're pre-approved for. So they didn't ask me for lower payment scenarios, nothing like that. They just wanted max approval, but I always go the extra mile and show them, here's what you're looking at today when you purchase right now. Here's what you're looking at from a strategy perspective on a 2-1 buy down that we can talk more about. And then here's what you're looking at in a future refi, casting it out into the future. Okay, so three different strategies in one. And the person didn't ask me for anything except for what are we max approved for so we can start making offers. Um, so let me do this share and share. There we go. All right. So um, they were max approved to 550. I showed them that, hey, with um, a 440 loan amount, your payment is 3518 and 42 cents. Total cash out of pockets 126. Okay. Now in the second column, um, this is a strategy that we can implement with your awesome realtor, by the way, to try to negotiate a credit from the seller. And we can negotiate this credit up front, or we can negotiate it after the fact. Okay, so we have two times that we can negotiate. Um, and if we're able to get a credit in the form of $9,840, we can use the seller's funds to get you a 4.75% interest rate payment in the first year using their money, not yours. That would lower your payment to $29.59.84 in the first year, and with about the same amount of money out of pocket, actually slightly less. Now, in the third column, I showed you that regardless of what we end up doing, we are able to negotiate the credit or we aren't, and we start out with column number one, that when interest rates drop, um, if the target is 4.5%, and we'd refinance you before that as well, but at some point in the future, when rates hit 4.5%, we'll refinance this loan for you, and that puts your payment at a 28.94 and one cent payment. So what I'm sharing with you here is that this is what you're looking at. Worst case scenario in column number one that you're totally qualified for. Column number two, how can we create a strategy to get lower monthly payments in the interim? And column number three is our long-term target towards a lower monthly payment so you can have more money to save and invest in other things to create wealth.